human rights, are not only violated by terrorism, repression or assassination, but also by unfair economic structures that, creates huge inequalities. Each of us has a vision of good, and of evil. We have to encourage people to move towards what, they think is good. Everyone has his own idea of good, and evil, and must choose to follow the good, and fight evil as he conceives them. That would be enough to make the world, a better place. A good Catholic meddles in politics, offering the best of himself, so that those, who govern can govern. But what is the best that, we can offer to those who govern? Prayer. God, never gives someone a gift, they are not capable of receiving. If he gives us the gift of Christmas, it is because, we all have the ability to understand, and receive it. Together with a culture of work, there must be a culture of leisure as gratification. To put it another way, people who work must take the time to relax, to be with their families, to enjoy themselves, read, listen to music, play a sport. We must restore hope to young people, help the old, be open to the future, spread love. Be poor among the poor. We need to include the excluded, and preach peace. I see the church as a field hospital, after battle. It is useless to ask a seriously injured person, if he has high cholesterol, and about the level of his blood sugars. You have to heal his wounds. Then we can talk about everything else. Although the life of a person, is in a land full of thorns, and weeds, there is always a space in which, the good seed can grow. You have to trust God. Abortion, isn't a lesser evil, it's a crime. Taking one life to save another, that's what the Mafia does. It's a crime. It's an absolute evil. Truth, according to the Christian faith, is God's love for us, in Jesus Christ. Therefore, truth is a relationship. When we walk without the cross, when we build without the cross, and when we proclaim Christ without the cross, we are not disciples of the Lord. We are worldly. We may be bishops, priests, cardinals, popes, all of this, but we are not disciples of the Lord. Grace, is not part of consciousness, it is the amount of light in our souls, not knowledge nor reason. From my point of view, God is the light that, illuminates the darkness, even if it does not dissolve it, and a spark of divine light is, within each of us. If someone is gay, and he searches for the Lord, and has good will, who am I to judge? We shouldn't marginalize people for this. They must be integrated into society. The worship of the golden calf of old has found a new, and heartless image in the cult of money, and the dictatorship of an economy, which is faceless, and lacking any truly human goal. Politics, is a noble activity. We should revalue it, practice it with vocation, and a dedication that, requires testimony, martyrdom, that is to die for the common good. I believe in God, not in a Catholic God. There is no Catholic God. There is God, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His Incarnation. Jesus is my teacher, and my pastor, but God, the Father, Abba, is the light and the creator. This is my being. A church without women, would be like the apostolic college without Mary. The Madonna is more important than, the apostles, 
and the church herself is feminine, the spouse of Christ, and a mother. Wretched are those, who are vindictive, and spiteful. God always has, patience. Where, there is no work, there is no dignity. Young people are just as attracted to the truth, as they are convenience, and expediency. A person, who thinks only about building walls, wherever they may be, and not building bridges is not Christian. This is not in the Gospel. Anyone, who wants to be Pope, doesn't care much for themselves, God doesn't bless them. I didn't want to be Pope. You cannot be in a position of power, and destroy the life of, another person. The confessional is not a torture chamber, but the place in which, the Lord's mercy motivates us to do, better. We need to avoid the spiritual sickness of a church, that is wrapped up in its own world, when a church becomes like this, it grows sick. Christmas is joy, religious joy, an inner joy of light, and peace. Let us all remember this, one cannot proclaim the gospel of Jesus, without the tangible witness of one's life. I am a sinner. This is the most accurate definition. It is not a figure of speech, a literary genre. I am a sinner. Leaders of the church, have often been Narcissus, flattered, and sickeningly excited by their courtiers. The court is the leprosy of the, papacy. Proselytism, is solemn nonsense, it makes no sense. We need to get to know each other, listen to each other, and improve our knowledge of the world, around us. The Pope loves everyone, rich, and poor alike, but the Pope has the duty, in Christ's name, to remind the rich to help the poor, to respect them, to promote them. Unrestrained liberalism, only makes the strong stronger, and the weak weaker, and excludes the most excluded. Find new ways to spread the word of God, to every corner of the world.